the power of words. Understanding the power of your words and the power of stopping negative and faithless talk can change your life. There are many examples in the New Testament of people who got miracles because of what they said and didn't say. In Mark 5, the woman with the issue of blood was very sick and had spent all of her money on doctors. But they could not help her, so she said to herself, If I can but touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. The miracle started with her confession of faith. The power in her confession activated the heart of God, and he orchestrated the miracle. What's in your mouth is in your future. In 2 Kings chapter 4, a widow woman's son had just died. She was on her way to ask the prophet to come pray for her son. When his servant asked her a question, he asked, is it well with you? Notice her statement of faith. She said, it is well. Then he asked, is it well with your son? And even though her son had just died, she made this powerful statement, it is well. She trusted her God. Her faith serves an example of what you should do when you're going through a hard time. Look up with a spirit of gratitude and say, it is well. Never give up. Her son was raised from the dead.